All right, you guys, looking at the EuroCAD for our chart. Um, pretty clear buy signal here, or buy biased. Um, we did just get a buy signal. I'm a little late on this. Uh, signal occurred at 29.17. It's at around 25 right now. Um, not too concerned. These kind of trades, you know, we're looking for quite a bit of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and take a four unit trade. And we're going to set our stop just below the former lows, right around 28.35. This is. Let's see the EuroCAD trade. So we got our trade set up. Um, we're going to carry this up to our first uh, first target and see what happens. All right, guys. Uh, the EuroCAD's moved on up to our first target, so we are going to go ahead and clear um, a portion of our trade off at the first target level. We're just uh, just shy of it now, but uh, as you can see, we did hit it, so I am gonna go ahead and uh, clear it out, or at least a portion of it. At this point, as usual, I'm also gonna boom my stop up. Uh, the entry on this particular trade was 156.23. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one, let's see. I was looking at the Euro New Zealand that I'm in. The Euro CAD was 29.34. Um, and I, I can adjust this up, I guess, so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, the Euro CAD is here and we just closed out one unit so I'm going to adjust the stop loss up to 129.36 alright so this is a free trade um, and we'll just continue to watch this and monitor it and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see it move on up to level 3 and 4 all right, so we're looking at the EuroCAD here, and it's moved on up to the second level. And uh, per our plan, we are going to go ahead and clear out a portion. Uh, we did clear out at level one a portion, and um, now we're getting ready to clear out a little more at level two. So, uh, that being said, let me go ahead and I'm going to clear out one more unit. And uh, as the market continues, we will continue to. Uh, to uh, take profit. Alright guys, so we're looking at the Euro CAD and the market's moved up pretty nicely but we've kind of stalled uh, here towards the top. Um, if we go to the week chart you can see we're actually um, have kind of topped out towards the top of the upper range. Uh, now I, I don't want to close this thing down because we know we could still have a break and then a really strong move but I do want to protect us uh, or protect our position in case the market does reverse. We don't want to lose everything we've gained. Now um, in a normal situation, I wouldn't move the stop up, um, but when we when we get up around these strong points of resistance, I do want to protect the position because it can come down fairly quickly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the stop up. We're still not going to move right up underneath the current position, but uh, we are going to look for some obvious. We've got previously so, you know support here. Um, we can see that it acted as resistance here, so it stands to reason that it would be support again in this area. So what we'll do is we'll just set a stop. Uh, down below this area, right around a 30.23 level. So we're going to adjust our current stop um, up to around 30.23. Alrighty, guys. So the EuroCAD is uh, just broke on up to our third level. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out another unit. We're going to clear out one unit, which will leave us with one unit in. Uh, we're not right on the level, but we're pretty darn close, so uh, it's good enough for me. We're at 34.13 on the buy side, and the level's at 34.20. Um, again, not going to squabble over a few pips here or there. So I'm going to go and clear out the one unit, and uh, still leaves us with a unit in um, of about $470 on its own. Hi right, guys, we're back uh, looking at the Euro CAD trade, and as you can see, the market has moved up. Uh, to our fourth level target. It's not not quite there yet. It's at 98 is our target and the market's around 83 um, But I am going to go and clear it out just because this is a fairly large spread So the buy side is getting up there uh, you can see uh, Currently, this is about six hundred and forty two dollars in profit on the one remaining uh, Mini lot left so we're gonna go and close that down um, Just about ten pips away from our target um, and call it call it a day uh, we can take a look here at um, 
the total trade just to get a better idea. So um, here are the four entries right in here. And uh, you can see before we closed out this one for $641, the other three entries alone uh, were 470 180 120 about $900. And then add to that another 650 So we're, uh, you know, right around the uh, 1540 mark for one trade. So this is just a great example. This is definitely a, in my book, it's it's a home run. You know, with, with four mini lots, anytime you can take a trade with four mini lots and walk away with $1,500. Uh, in profits with very little um, risk. Remember, our entry was way back here, and our stop was just below the lows, so we had very little risk compared to the amount of profit we made. I mean, you know, when, when you really think about this, you know, this is this is quite a bit of profit for four mini lots. You've got to ask yourself, when's the last time you entered with four mini lots and walked away with a fifteen hundred dollar profit? Um, this is the kind of uh, risk to reward ratio this strategy yields, and it really is just a phenomenal example. Of, uh, of the kind of trades that you can you can you know capture with this particular strategy. So uh, anyway, um, I hope this video has done a good job at demonstrating how the strategy works, how to implement it, as well as the potential it has for making uh, you know just phenomenal trades.